Hey there, good thing you didn't see what I was just doing. Don't worry, I washed my hands. So, we need to get to work here. So let's get to it. So today we're gonna to take our 8670 back to the dealer we're gonna sell it it's gonna give us a good price on it so we will take this back quickly so we are going to start uh, combining we've got some wheat here that's ready or I mean sorry oats our oats is ready so we got to get that started combining and yeah all right now we're back at the farm we still have a lot to do so i need to get all these tractors out of the combine's way so we can get to the combine get our truck out Four four forty out too. I think I'll just park the forty four forty over to the side a little bit here. That should be good. So we will drive the 5488 so this is a good tractor so still making improvements on this we put it in the shop got some of the improvements done so we're still having some issues with the hitch I was planning on using it today on the grain cart but because of the hitch has some issues we gotta get it back into the shop get in the shop do some work on it but as you can see engine you can hear it now so we still have to get that and the fuel gauge on it to work and we will start using that thing really looking forward to that all right so let's get the planner now all this stuff is thrown into the back of the shed so gotta move a lot of it One go. All right, so now we got to get the header on. this up nicely just barely fits out that door so we need to get this probably park the planter back in get our trucks and our grain cart to the field and get started all right we're gonna get started in the field here Got the oats going. So we are going to be baling this for some extra profit and we need some straw. Going around the first round here. I don't know why that's weird. Didn't combine that area right there it's okay it's definitely like the fields in on this map 
this header. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep over all the way. So hopefully, I'm hoping this header works with this combine. It's a good little header to have. So this is only a 9650. So I believe this is a 30 foot head. So I would like to have a 35 foot head, but I just don't can't find one. So 30 foot head is good enough for our land though. First, so we are making about 130 bushels per acre. You talk about a bumper crop. So we are just about 40% full. Probably be 50% full on our first round. why it's doing that. I'm hoping it's not because the header is got difficulties auto contouring but we will see. Which is this beautiful green paint combines these herbs. Baby, let's just pretend. I want to stay like this forever. I want to stay right here with you. I want to stay right here with you. It appears that this header is just riding too high on this combine. I ended up changing the header out to a draper header, which is working great. So the other one was just riding too high. Harvesting time is the best time of the year. Looks like we're getting a great yield and a big volume of straw. I just love the front look of these John Deere combines. So this draper header is not a real John Deere, but it doesn't look too bad on the John Deere and it's the only one I can find that it's 30 foot.
I will have to try to put a different straw spreader on this combine. I don't like how it goes through like that. Love how this combine fills properly in the bin there. Just love the scenery and the time of year when the crops are golden. Looks like our bin is almost full now. Finally got the reel to the proper height now. Always enjoy making the first pass in a field. Soldier in 
STS is just one beautiful combine in my book. I was going to try to use the John Deere old grain cart, but it seems that it needs a lot of work still, so I decided to use our gravity wagons. Nothing better than seeing gravity wagons in the field. Give a little inside the cab action. And we're already full again. Park our wagons over here to the side of the field. Now we just gotta clean up our corners we missed. And there's little itty bitty sliver left in the middle of the field. We'll unload this grain before we go to our next field. Always like watching the combine make its first pass around a field. These two fields we have left are about half the size of our other two. I'm sure glad now that we didn't end up wind rolling our oak fields. Now we'll speed up the time.
grab our GMC down below the combine here. Just have a little bit left in this field. Now we'll clean up the corners and dump what we have in this bin into our wagons. Now we'll start cutting our last field here. Looks like we'll make two passes around this field before we fill up. Go grab our GMC truck for the last time. Looks like we just have a sliver left. So we are just finishing up the wheat harvest here, or the oat harvest, sorry. So we just have to, we have a little sliver and a few corners to do still. Made really good time, got this in. It's good because I believe we could still plant the soybeans. We'll see here. But so as long as we can plant them, we also need to get this straw off pretty quickly. So I wanted this straw for one the profit and we need it on our ranch and also I need to clear off the stubble so we the bean crop has a better opportunity the late season bean crop getting that in and germinating being able to combine it before fall because now with seasons that's no guarantee so get this unloaded we put everything on our two trucks and our wagons there. Everything just barely fit in all of them. We still have to get them into the uh, grain bin. Let's do that quickly. We'll get this back and pulled into the shed. Probably wash this up another day and it take the header off so we've got uh, about a hundred and sixty thousand from our 8670 Ford tractor that we sold so that's where all of our profit is we also bought this head just because the other head wasn't performing adequate so Let's see, what do I need? Let's put the 40, take this over, put it on the grain auger there. We 
want to get as close as possible. There we go. So we'll end up putting this, these two loads into this grain bin. There we go. That's done. We'll go and park this uh, 1586 again. we go fills in nicely into the auger so that truck is emptied back that up right here and we got our last truck here So these trucks hold just under 800 bushels a piece. Big tandem axe, tandem, tandem axle, uh, top kick GMCs. Excellent truck in my book. Love having these on the farm. They're just very convenient. easy to use. There we go. Back up. Got the grain door now. Doesn't take long for this auger. Looks like we kind of got it kicked sideways there. Get this. There we go. Now that truck is emptied. 
All right, now we got all, all of our grain put away in the bins. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later here in Autumn Oaks.